All right, I'm gonna show you why diffusion filters are amazing. Just watch this little light right here as I put this on. So that's without, that's with, without, width. Oh my gosh, I cannot put this back on. What the heck? All right, so I'm sure by now most of you have heard of diffusion filters. And if you haven't, that's why I did that, you know, scientific test just now. <laughs> but diffusion filters, they add a creative look to your image by essentially taking the highlights or the bright parts of your image and making them glow or give off like this hazy look. And the, the proper terminology behind that is to make your highlights bloom. Now, I personally view diffusion filters as an absolutely quintessential part of my filmmaking kit. And very rarely will I actually even shoot without one these days. The filters that I use these days are from Moment and they are called the Cine Bloom filters. And I've got one for you right here. Let's see what double diffusion looks like. I think that'd be a little much. But these are awesome. And if you haven't heard of Moment, well, first of all, you probably have. Moment is most famous for either creating the first or one of the first high quality filters that would actually go on your phone. And thankfully they didn't stop there. Now they actually make high quality lens filters that go on professional grade lenses. But the question is, are they any good? My answer? Yes. Can you imagine if that's just all we had to do for YouTube videos is like, all right, is the a7 IV good? Yes, all right, see you later. Like, that would be awesome, but I will not leave you hanging with just saying, yes, it's good or not good. I think the best way to show you if it is good or not is to like actually show you if it's good or not. So let's, uh, let's go out and let's shoot something. be honest with you. I didn't actually leave just now to go shoot that. It's actually like 9 p.m. right now, so they're closed, but it looked good, right? I mean, honestly, tell me if you if you thought that that footage looked good or not, let me know down in the comments. But the reason I wanted to make a video about diffusion filters and specifically the Moment Cine Bloom one is that for, for so long, I would see videographers and photographers that would post these images or videos and I always like could tell, I'm like, man, it has like that, 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 Mm, like that that look to it that just looks different than mine. So for me, the specific filter that I'm using, again, is by Moment called Cine Bloom, and I am using the 10% strength. The Cine Bloom filters come in strengths of five, 10, and 20%. So as you're seeing footage of different shoots that I've used these filters on, let me just quickly talk about the three things that I like most about them. Starting with the first thing, and that is image quality. I personally just love the look that these filters give off. Again, it's not too strong, it's not too weak. I really love what it does to skin tones, how it just like softens up your skin and just kind of makes it have that like glowy, rich look to it. What I've kind of found is that a lot of cheaper filters will give you a similar look and feel, but it always comes with a compromise usually in the form of some sort of shifting color cast that the filter gives off. Or sometimes I've even seen them where it just has like this, this like weird noticeable noise, like, like dust on your sensor. The second thing that I really like about these filters is the price. I'm not made of money, okay? And so I'm always looking for filmmaking tools that pack a punch for their price. And you can pick one of these up for about $70 which is actually a really good middle ground. Again, there are definitely filters out there that are much more expensive, and you can probably find some that are a lot cheaper. I actually got mine on a discount, so I only spent $50 on my filters. So hopefully you might be able to pick one up for that kind of a price as well, but even not, even at $70, I find that the, the price to performance ratio is exactly where I would want it to be to make a video and recommend it to you. And the third thing that I love is the packaging. And I know that might sound weird, like, hey, what does the packaging have anything to do? Well, I love that it comes in these like old school, like vintage film roll, like canisters. 
I think that's just like such a neat design. And then when you actually open the container up, it comes with a nice and clean microfiber cloth that you can wipe down your filter before and after use. So with all of that said, right, it kind of just comes down to this. Should you get one, right? That's that's why you're watching this video. That's why you've made it this far is should you buy one? This is gonna be one of the first times where I will explicitly tell you, yes, I think you should if, if, you like the way diffusion filters look. If you don't like the look, then why would you buy one, right? Why are you probably not even watching this video anymore if you don't like the way it looks. I have personally used the Tiffin Black Pro Mist filters and those are great. I have like absolutely nothing bad to say about those whatsoever. They've kind of become like the industry standard over the years. I think the Cine Bloom filters hold up very well in comparison to them and they're cheaper, so. You know, I'll leave two links actually. One will be my affiliate link that you can, you know, go out there and support me if you want. The other one will be just like the direct link to the moment website. I don't care which one you use. Either way, I think you're, you know, supporting good people, so. All right, I'm seriously curious though, before you leave, like tell me what you think of the image down below. Do you like diffusion filters? Do you think they're annoying? Do you think they give off a cool look? I do, obviously, made the video. Anyways, also, if you're still here, feel free, click on one of these videos. If you wanna be a part of what we're doing on this channel, click right here. Oh yes, he's a good boy, yeah. All right, now you gotta like the video, right? Yes, I am exploiting my dog for likes, but deal with it. Good boy.